chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this tutorial we shall take up various results these results can be proved with the help of the concepts of similar triangles various questions in previous years have been asked on the basis of these results those questions they expect us to remember some of these results for example this one and this one and uh, possibly this one they should be remembered in fact if it is not possible for you to remember then you should try to study the proof that i am giving sometimes remembering too many things is not possible so if you can understand the proofs then you can always use them to solve these questions so let us take these one by one we'll start with them one by one we'll take up their proofs also and we will discuss them also our first question is in a triangle pqr the angle bisector of angle p meets qr at s prove that qs by sr is equal to pq by pr let us first of all draw a triangle so i am drawing it here this is p this is q and this is r the angle bisector of angle p this angle and this angle they are equal they might not be looking equal because i have not drawn it to scale but they are equal because p uh, q r at s because p s is the angle bisector of angle p the result that has to be proved is that the ratio of qs to sr that is this arm to this arm is same as the ratio of this pq to pr this result is very important from the point of view of many questions that have been asked on the basis of this result let us now start with the proof of this if we just look at this triangle and after that look at this then things nearly look impossible because we have no idea about where to start but these are all traditional questions they have well defined solutions and i am presenting one of them the whole point is that it does help us to develop reasoning skills and also comes handy at a time when we do not remember this and we have to make derivations from ground zero so for this the proof given is that extend qp extend qp and from r draw a line parallel to ps obviously this line ps will meet it somewhere in a point t we can now observe this resultant drawing and we see that ps is parallel to rt therefore this angle this angle will be equal to this angle this and this they will be exactly equal because they are i will write alternate alternate angles for ps parallel to rt so this is the transversal you can see and these two angles will be equal we also see that since ps is parallel to rt this angle this angle should be equal to this angle we can say corresponding corresponding angles for 
PS parallel to RT. But we know that this angle is exactly equal to this angle because PS is the bisector. Therefore, this angle being equal to this and this angle being equal to this, they should be also equal to each other. So, I will write equal, equal angles because why are they equal? Because PS is the angle bisector of angle P and angle P has two parts. One part is equal to this, the other part is equal to that. So, these two are equal angles for this triangle PTR. So, we can say that triangle PTR is isosceles. Triangle PTR should be isosceles because these two angles are equal. And if these two angles are equal, then the sides opposite to these angles should also be equal to each other. We can see that this side will be equal to this side. So, we can write which implies PT is equal to PR. Now, let us attend to this bigger triangle. This triangle. This bigger triangle. In this case, this PS is this line and this is the base. So, by proportionality theorem, if we observe this triangle, then by the proportionality theorem, QS by SR, we can write by basic proportionality theorem, QS by SR should be equal to this QS by SR should be equal to QP by PT. But as we have seen that PT is equal to PR, PT is equal to PR. Therefore, we can conclude that QS by SR should be equal to QP by PR. We have just substituted PT for PR here and which proves the result. So, by looking at this triangle from different perspectives, we have used almost entire geometry when we constructed this parallel to this one. We were easily able to see that this is equal to this, this is equal to this. And then we knew that these are already equal, therefore this has to be equal to this. Then we found this is isosceles. Our steps they flowed from one step to another. And when we were able to show that PT is equal to PR, this one I am talking about. Then we made another look to the whole scene. And we found that QS by SR is readily equal to QP by PT which ultimately led us to the solution. Let us now proceed to our next question. The ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So, here he says that you have two similar triangles. Let me draw those two similar triangles first of all. This is one similar triangle and this is a second similar triangle. They are similar although I have just drawn them to be the same size only to make things clear. But usually similar triangles they will have different sizes. Okay. The issue is 
the ratio of areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. So what he means to say is that the area of ABC divided by the area of DEF. So we have to basically prove that area of ABC divided by the area of DEF it should be equal to AB by DE square. The square of the ratio of their corresponding sides AB by DE whole square. It should also be equal to BC by EF whole square. Should also be equal to AC by DF whole square. Although I have written just one of those it will be equal to all the ratios. In fact, all the ratios are equal. So I have just shown one of them here. And if we prove this, then on similar lines, we'll be able to say that others can also be proved. Let us start with our deductions. Here is the proof. Now since triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, we should have BC by EF equal to AB by DE. BC by EF is equal to AB by DE. The third one is also true, but we have just written two of them because these will be sufficient for us. Why I am using these two? Because I know the area of triangle is half of base into height. So base is included. So that is why BC and EF have been taken in the picture. And one of the sides has been taken into picture because AB and DE are involved in the final result that has to be proved this one. Since the area is dependent on the height, so let us write draw AP perpendicular to BC and DQ perpendicular to EF. So this is what I mean. That is, this will be AP perpendicular here and DQ perpendicular here. This point is DQ. This point is P. So we have dropped perpendiculars like this. We observe that triangle ABP should be similar to triangle DEQ. Now why are they similar? Angle B is already equal to angle E. I am writing here angle B is equal to angle E. Why? Because triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. This angle, this angle, they are already equal. And this angle is 90. We have already dropped perpendiculars. Angle P is equal to angle Q is equal to 90 degrees. So by double A rule, triangle ABP is similar to triangle DEQ. We have taken their similarity now, which implies that AP by DQ, this height by this height should be same as AB by DE. This height to this height should be same as this side to this side. Because this triangle this triangle is similar to each other. I have involved AB and DE in this equation. 
because a b d e they appear in the final result and the height has been involved because height is involved in the area so let us now write which implies area of a b c divided by the area of d e f should be equal to what is the area of a b c half of base half of b c multiplied by a p this b c is the base and this is the height similarly area of triangle d e f it should be half of e f multiplied by d q now put this ratio b c by e f from this equation b c by e f and about this one let us bring it from here we will remove half of so b c by e f is equal to a b by d e multiplied by a p by d q comes from here as a b by d e which is equal to a b by d e whole square so which proves that the ratio of area of this triangle to the ratio of area of this triangle is same as ab by de whole square the proof of this might be a bit complicated and difficult to remember but the good thing is that the result itself is very easy to remember so i have always found it very easy to remember that the ratio of areas of similar triangles is same as the ratio of square of the ratios of any two sides of those similar triangles so let us now proceed to our next part now abc is a right angled triangle right angled at c first of all let us draw abc as our right angled triangle this is 90 degrees and this is a and this is b cd is perpendicular to ab this is ab and let us drop a perpendicular here and this is cd it is perpendicular to ab prove that bc square that is square of this side by the square of this side should be equal to bd by ad so it is almost similar to the result that we have proved just now uh, in i think the first one today but there was angle bisector of this angle and squares were not involved and that triangle was any triangle but this one is a right angle triangle so for a particular case of right angle triangle we have to prove this result you should always remember that when you have a right angled triangle and a perpendicular is drawn towards the hypotenuse then we get three similar triangles you may not have observed but one is this outer triangle the other is this smaller triangle and the other is this side triangle they are all similar to each other let me show that first suppose i label this angle as alpha and let me label this angle as theta now this is one right angle triangle and now come out to this outer right angle triangle if this angle is alpha then this angle should be theta because alpha and theta they add to 90 in this triangle and alpha and theta should add to 90 in the outer triangle 
so this should be theta and this should be theta and this is alpha and on the same lines this angle should be alpha so now you see three triangles one is this triangle theta alpha one is this triangle theta alpha and one is the outer triangle theta alpha so we have three right angled triangles which are similar because two two angles and in fact all the three angles of which are equal to each other this makes the things very uh, interesting also but they open a lot of ways for proving results such as this one so we have to prove to prove bc square by ac square equal to bd by ad let us take the outer triangle first this outer triangle in this i will write bc this side and here i am writing it opposite to theta this bc is for the outer triangle and opposite to angle theta of the outer triangle the ratio of this side i i have taken this outer triangle and i will compare this triangle with this one so bc is opposite theta for the outer triangle and in the inner in the smaller triangle on the left side the side opposite to theta is dc therefore bc by dc opposite theta in triangle adc i have just written it for our reference opposite theta i will write it also in bigger abc so this is one thing that i have similarly let me take side ac of the outer triangle which is opposite to alpha this should be equal to ac opposite alpha of abc divided by now this triangle we are working alpha opposite is ad here i should have opposite to this alpha is ad so i will write it as ad opposite to alpha of ad c let us now repeat the process for the bigger triangle and the triangle on this right side so we will write bc opposite angle theta in abc by bc is opposite angle theta and in this triangle side opposite to angle theta is db so we will write bc over bd opposite theta in triangle bdc we are repeating the same process for the outer and now this right side triangle now take alpha outer is alpha is opposite ac so i'll write ac opposite alpha in triangle abc by opposite alpha in this triangle would be dc so i would write it as dc opposite alpha in triangle bdc so we have basically this equation and this equation now it is just a game of realignment this this equation i will now realign i will write it as bc by bring ac down equal to dc by ad this is one thing now let me realign this one bring ac down because my eye is on this so bc by ac is equal to bd by dc this is equation 2 
So my i is on this. Let us multiply 1 and 2. Multiply 1 and 2. So what do we get? BC by AC whole square is equal to this DC by AD multiplied by BD by DC. So this we can cancel off which will be BD by AD. So this is what we wanted to prove and it has been proved. Now there are two things which I want to bring your notice. First of all that in a right angle triangle you should observe that there are three similar triangles and you should immediately always mark these angles as alpha theta as shown. This what I have done here or here is really secondary. It depends on the type of question you are getting. But more important is your vision of three similar triangles here. One thing. Second thing. The way I wrote these opposite theta in bigger ABC by opposite theta, opposite alpha, opposite alpha. I could have blindly written this also. But you should always follow this approach of writing your angles here itself so that the chances of error are always the least. It is only about getting the correct ratios. They can be obtained only by following tracking these angles theta and alpha. In this particular case I tracked theta and alpha. In some other question you might have to track this right angle that is you might have to track the hypotenuse. So it depends on question to question. So this is the second thing that you should remember that the artifice of tracking the sides opposite to angles. This is the way that you should do to minimize your errors. The third thing is that it may not be always possible to remember such results. So don't spend your time cramming up everything. You should follow these proofs carefully, maybe attempt them two or three times so that you get closer to the things. So once you understand these, then hit and trial and all those things, they do add up to your help in the need of R. Let us now move on to our next question.